What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today people we're gonna keep on talking about Call of Duty World War 2. So if you guys haven't noticed yet over the past 24 hours this trailer for Call of Duty World War 2 has been standing on a positive note. If you guys haven't noticed yet the trailer is currently standing over 500,000 likes which is pretty good compared to last year's trailer of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare which is standing over a lot of million dislikes like that's insane like I cannot believe at some point this franchise is going to sink that low but it happened but uh but yeah guys like it was horrible last year and this year we're going back to boots in the ground so it pretty much shows you that the community of Call of Duty was pretty much begging or pretty much uh, at this point you know we're asking for boots in the ground since last year and it's happening guys it's happening that Call of Duty World War 2 is happening and um, you know a lot of people are happy about it so this shows you that the community really wanted to go back to boots on the ground but there's always those few those few people that were like um, you know pretty much saying that uh, you know the futuristic was the right way to go because a lot of people were saying that Call of Duty needed to freshen up a little bit on their uh, game because they kept on releasing modern or past versions of Call of Duty you know like Modern Warfare, Black Ops 1 and World, World at War like that's all they were showing pretty much the same shooter every single year and I think it would have been better if they would have done like a post-apocalyptic or maybe like a police versus robbers versions those would have been good and that's how it should have been going but instead we went futuristic and that's what messed up the whole damn community because at the same time activision owns destiny and destiny is being made by bungie and activision so what was the point in Call of Duty going futuristic if they already had another franchise that was starting up with a bunch of funds and you know going futuristic at the same time like you can't do that it's like you're trying to bury your own franchise just like uh ea did with titanfall 2. titanfall 2 was released at the same time as battlefield 1 are you kidding me both were made by ea of course separate companies but it was you know pretty much ea's branch and they messed up and now titanfall the franchise might be dead after this because they released at the same time as battlefield one like tell me how many people play titanfall 2 is less than half of the players of maybe uh battleborn or something like it's insane why would they even do that so my argument here today guys is that maybe boots on the ground was always the right path to do it you know to do this franchise and not good futuristic the best way to do it is just reskin it into some other kind of theme like uh, the better themes you come up with, the better. Like, but do not change the concept. Do not change the formula, because that's what kept the whole franchise going, and also the fan base stay here. Like, it's it's obvious at this point how how this franchise should be handled. But anyways, let's hope also that the supply drops not to kill the game, because that's another thing that I really want to talk about uh, later on. Because I'm still not sure. I mean, I literally got into an argument in Twitter saying that uh, you know. Maybe the supply drops were going to kill World War II, but um, I got a guy over here saying that the supply drops are not even going to happen. So that is a big question mark right there. So that is it, people. So I want to talk about today. What do you guys think about this? Was, in, uh, was futuristic the right way to go or boots on the ground? Leave it in the comment section, guys. I'll read it later.